hi guys good morning and welcome to a new vlog today is sunday and i am keeping to my promise of vlogging weekly um i'm getting ready for church now and today is kind of like a long day so like a walk long day but i'm traveling this week and i need to buy a few things before i travel and the only day i can go out and buy anything is today so after church i'm going to um come back home and change my shoes for more comfortable shoes and then go to the shopping center which is quite a distance it's quite a distance from here why is this not working so today we changed um time so we lost an hour and my eyes are brighter than i expected them to be i really expected i was going to struggle to get up because i did not go to bed until 1 a.m and losing one hour means that my sleep time was going to be shorter so i was expecting that i really would struggle to get out of bed i actually did struggle to get out of bed but my eyes are brighter maybe it's the coffee could be the coffee but my eyes are brighter than i expected them to be yeah i went to a birth i feel like i've said this to my friends maybe my missus my siblings as well it feels like every weekend every saturday this month of march i have gone out which is very unlike me like i have gone for birthday every saturday this weekend yeah like who am i who is this Where's my necklace? but that is really what has happened but yesterday i was happy i went i was so close to not going but i was happy i went because i saw some of my friends i haven't seen in a very long time maybe the last time i saw them one of them i'm very sure the last time i saw him was like four years or five before covid actually was the last time i saw him and then I saw them yesterday. I was so happy that I saw them. I was so happy that I decided to finally go. Just because like the trains had their issues yesterday. So like they have days where the strike is not so bad. And then they have days where you feel the strike. Yesterday was one of those days when I was coming back. When I was on my way, I mean. It was such a mess. Like we got to the station and then the train that was supposed to come just disappeared from wherever it's like the train turned back or what happened just went off anyways i'm ready um for church now it says it's going to rain so i don't know if i should hold my umbrella or not i think i am going to do that because i don't like to get wet but anyways this is what i'm wearing i'm wearing one of those dresses that you wear when you don't feel like ironing or doing any extra efforts to get dressed that's what i'm doing and probably show you the full the full outfit you know Anyway, so yeah, see you guys when I get back home. my bath and then eat dinner and then go to bed I'm supposed to have a call this night though, but i'm too tired for that i don't want to reawake the feeling of tiredness again i don't like to wake up on mondays and be feeling exhausted it doesn't help me at all because it just kind of sets the pace for the whole week and i don't want to have a bad week so i'm going to rest i'm going to go to bed earlier today to make sure that we avoid all of those drama and then be ready it's a good thing that i've already picked out my outfit for the week and now that i've even done the shopping so it's a lot of less stress for me this week i just need to park i think i'm going to park on wednesday when i get back home from work and then yeah no i'm going to park on tuesday so that i can see if i'm still missing anything for um convention so that i can buy it on wednesday before my flight on friday 
Yeah, basically that's it. I feel like that flight I'm just going to be sleeping and I won't sleep on flight. But I think I'm going to sleep on this flight. <laughs> Can be planning in advance to sleep on flight. Anyways, I want to wash my hands. I literally just got in. Wash my hands and then get to putting dinner in the microwave and all like that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So before I see you guys tomorrow, when I was going, I was like, you know, I've been saying that there's there have been strike in the there's been transport strike, transport strike. Today is Sunday, weekend, everything was fine, smooth. The trains were working, all the trains came on time, left on time, no drama, no nothing. And today, it, everywhere was empty. People were not outside. And I'm like, did we not get the notice that today was going to be fine? Well, I didn't get the notice, I believe every other person did not. But like, why is the weekend so free and then you're going to not put a lot of stress on us tomorrow? And make us be doing extra work to get to work earlier because we don't want the train to mess up with our time of getting to work. Anyways, I, I, that's the whole point of the strike anyways. To make you feel that they are striking and they cannot make you feel you're, they're on strike on in the weekend. If all you're doing is going for shopping and all of that. And it's, those are things that you don't have to do. Anyways, now I'll see you tomorrow. hi guys good morning <clears throat> so today is friday this is now the day of my trip and i am ready to go i just need to lock up my bags and head out or because i was um, clearing up my room before i go i like to clean up my room every time i'm traveling anyway because i don't want to come back to any scattered anything so i wanted to show my empties to the the what skincare products that i've used that I've finished and i have restocked over and over again just because i just restocked and i want to trash this ones so this one is the clarifying sephora clarifying serum for anti-imperfections so i use this one for the night and it is now finished i liked this product because but actually i liked it but it always feels very dry but it did the work yeah um this one the vitamin c and e absolutely love this is probably my fourth fifth bottle and i've gotten another one now yeah it's that amazing and i just like the fact that sephora apart from apart from stocking skincare and makeup and perfume and all of that they now try to do their own products because of course they've become experts in all of that um so my i changed my body lotion i think it was last year because i'm sure i've complained sometime in this video that the one i loved loved um i don't know the name but it was the blue one in the winter always felt dry so i had to like reapply during the day and i didn't like that and then i stumbled on this one one time i went to the store to get the blue one and I couldn't find it so this one i was like let me try it and this one works magic especially on dry skin yep so this one i have now gotten another one again um for my night cream so i use the cordali i think it's how it's pronounced um vinyl perfect dark spot correcting like colic night cream i use this one in the night and i use the neutrogena in the day it's not exhausted but i have used maybe 10 bottles of that or tubes of that i mean and then my body cream if you have not noticed from all of the things that i've showed you i have dry skin so most of the things that i use are things to infuse moisture into the skin and so that's what this one does so like those products i feel like they cannot do wrong anymore at this point and so i use this one because it has um oil in it it has oil in it so when i use it like you can literally feel the oil on your skin not that it's very greasy but you feel like there is moisture you don't come out of the bathroom feeling dry anyways these are some of my empties um yeah that i have restocked and so yeah i i'm going to be heading out to the airport now and I want to say see you tomorrow, but I know that I'm not going to vlog until I get back because it's just going to be a busy week for me. It's convention and it's, if I'm going to be active on social media, it's going to be on Instagram. 
I'll see you guys when I get back.